Police in Milwaukee say it started on Facebook with two groups fighting over a girl. Then the virtual feud turned deadly. Words were exchanged, and apparently there was some pushing and shoving. In one group on the west side of North Lake, fired several shots. As many as eight or nine shots, and one struck 14-year-old Tarek Akbar in the head, killing him. His mother says he had nothing to do with the feud. I don't know too much. I just know my baby was at the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong crowd. Her oldest son, who is on probation, is being held for questioning. Police say they have a suspect in custody. In San Francisco, police are holding Francisco Sanchez for the murder of 32-year-old Kate Steinel. Police say she and her family were walking along Pier 14 Thursday evening when Sanchez approached and fired a single shot. There were no words exchanged between the suspect and the victim. Uh, the victim uh, said something to her family members to the extent that she didn't feel well, like something she realized like something had just taken place with respect to her, and she fell to the ground. You have to realize that every day is precious, and no matter no matter where you're at, what you're doing, uh, just cherish the people in your life and who you love and tell them you love them. Because <laughs> I'll never get to tell my sister that I'd love her again. Sanchez has seven felony convictions and has been deported five times, yet was freely walking the streets of San Francisco. And in Hagerstown, Maryland, 30-year-old Robert Leroy Wilson has been charged with assault, child abuse, and reckless endangerment. Police say the man allegedly beat his girlfriend's son after the boy ate a piece of birthday cake without permission. To have a nine-year-old in a condition that he's in now because an adult literally beat him into that, that condition is... Um, it's traumatic. It's, it's, it's hard on all of us to, to deal with those things. The boy is in critical condition, and doctors found healing wounds that could be evidence of previous abuse.